what's up guys go ahead and get started here I'm gonna go ahead and be uh, giving you guys my uh, UFC fight night Shevchenko versus Pena picks uh, just a quick little video some quick picks so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take a uh, cop rail uh, to win more than likely by decision but you know maybe it could be uh, a late TKO or something like that Gonzalez got finished in his last fight very quickly uh, Seems very hittable, so the striking defense isn't good. Uh, and that was against against uh, Drew Dober, who does have some decent stand-up, but still not really known as knockout artist, and he was able to hurt him and finish him quickly. Uh, Cotrell's not really much of a striker, though. Uh, you know, prefers his grappling. So I was going a little back and forth in this fight. Kind of wanted, kind of wanted to pick uh, Gonzalez kind of as an underdog, but I just feel like Cotrell is is more durable and should pretty much. Should be able to outlast Gonzalez in this fight, uh, get get some takedowns here and there, and uh, overall just win the fight. So I'll take Cotrell uh, by decision. Next fight we got Alexandria Pantoa versus Eric Shelton. Uh, don't know too much about these guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and take Shelton here. Uh, seems to be the quicker, uh, faster striker, and yeah, I think he's just gonna be able to you know pretty much land a lot of output and score some points and win, win a decision so I'll take Shelton by decision. Next fight, uh, Rogerio De Lima versus Jeremy uh, Kimball. I'm going to go ahead and take Kimball on this one. Uh, this guy, you know, he really goes out to fight and, you know, Lima did come in overweight uh, pretty much by five pounds. You know, could help him out in the fight but at the same time I think he's going to gas and this guy's already known for gassing so he's going to get tired and Kimball uh, trains over there uh, at altitude, so this guy's not going to gas. Uh, comes forward a lot. Seems to have a really uh, pretty good chin. Lands a lot of strikes. So I think Campbell here might get uh, probably a second round finish after uh, the Lima, you know, runs out of gas in that first round. So I think Campbell gets a uh, second round knockout. Uh, next fight, Spicely against uh, D Chirico. I'm going I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, uh, D Chirico here. I think this guy's just uh, the more well-rounded fighter here. Spicely, primarily a grappler. I think Chirico here didn't look too good in his last fight, and Spicely obviously got that finish in his last fight. But you know, I, I think everybody's too hyped up on that finish. You know, that Spicely got against uh, Thiago Santos. You know, that could have been kind of like a fluke. Um, it was a good finish, but still, you know, I don't expect that to happen here against a more well-rounded, uh, younger fighter in Chirico. I think Chirico here. He's gonna get it done. Uh, don't know if he gets a finish, but you know, uh, Spice has been finished before, so maybe this could be maybe a, a late finish. So I'll take Chirico, uh, third round knockout. Next fight, the Silva versus Jordan Johnson. I'm going to take Jordan Johnson on this one, guys. Uh, this guy has really good wrestling. He's gonna take him down. Henrique de Silva has taken the fence. This isn't that good. Uh, his last fight, he got submitted very quickly. Um, I thought maybe this guy could be like an up-and-comer, but you know, he got shut down in his last fight Finished really quickly. Uh, Jordan Johnson also has some submissions So this guy could work uh, could work on the ground for a submission after he takes him down or just beat him up on the ground and just You know just land a lot of strikes, whatever uh, Either way, I see Johnson win in this fight. I see the Silva gassing uh, Probably by that first round. So I think Johnson here should have the better gas tank and I think he's going to be able to win the fight here. So I could see a finish here. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Johnson gets a uh, second round submission. Uh, next fight, Nash versus uh, Lee Jing, uh, Jing Liang. I'll go ahead and take uh, Jing Liang on this one. Um, really not confident at all in this pick, but this guy seems to have the power. Seems to be the bigger guy. Uh, I think he could probably just win the fight just like that. Um, but don't know too much about these guys, but I'm just going to go ahead and pick uh, Jing Liang here. Let's go ahead and just say second round knockout. Next fight, uh, Sun Sao versus Sterling. This is another close fight right here. Uh, man, yeah, this is a hard fight, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and take a Sun Sao on this one. I just feel he's a little bit better. You know, he's getting older and whatnot, and it's obviously Sterling is like, you know, the young prospect type of guy, but he did lose in his last fight. Lost some momentum there. Sunsa also lost, but I just feel like he's a little bit more, you know, refined. So I think Sunsa should be able to win in this fight. Uh, he has better striking, um, should be faster, and 
obviously Sterling likes the takedowns, but Sun Sao has the submissions, you know, the Jiu Jitsu, so I think it's going to stay on the feet, and I think a Sun Sao is just going to be a little bit better on the feet, so I'll take a Sun Sao to win uh, by decision. Next fight, featured fight, on, uh, featured fight on FS1 prelims, we got Mark Harper versus Sam Alvey. Uh, you know, you can never really count out Mark Harper because he has some power, but Alvey here has a really good chin. Uh, and I just really doubt Mark Hart can land a shot here. I think if anything, Alvy's going to land a shot. And Alvy has a lot of power. And honestly, Mark Hart, his chin is just not too good anymore. Um, so yeah, I see I, I see Alvy winning this fight. And I think more than likely it's going to be a finish. Uh, Alvy does lack a lot of output though. This guy just needs to throw more punches. Um, that's what seems to like, you know, really let him down sometimes in the fights. He just doesn't throw a, a lot of output. Just relies too much on that knockout shot. But if he gets some output going, you know, starts boxing up Marquardt, he's going to get that finish quickly. So, yeah, I expect more, uh, Albie to start out slow. So I think Albie gets a uh, second round knockout. Now for the main card, guys, we got Caceres versus Jason Knight. Should be a fun fight here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take Jason Knight on this one. I really like this guy's style. Always moving forward. Uh, this guy just really likes to fight. So, you know, I just like his style. I think Caceres is going to be you know pressured a lot here and obviously Knight's the uh, the prospect here so I'm going to go ahead and take Knight on this one um, I think it's going I think it's going to go to a uh, to decision um, but yeah I think uh, I think it's going to go to the I think the fight's going to go to the ground stay standing it's going to go everywhere uh, Knight's good on the ground uh, but his bo uh, his boxing also um, or, or his striking actually doesn't look too bad either because he throws a lot of output so I just see uh, pretty much uh, Knight just winning the fight here, so I think he's going to win with the output, and I think Knight wins uh, by decision. Next fight, Arlovsky versus Francis Ngannou. I'm going to go ahead and pick Ngannou on this one, just like, you know, pretty much 90% of people. Uh, Ngannou obviously has his power. He's a really good finisher, as you can see, all wins by finish. I mean, he's not even really good. He's, you know, he's perfect with his finishing abilities here. He can finish you on the ground, he can finish you on the feet. He's dangerous everywhere. He's a prospect. Could be a future heavyweight champion here. And honestly, just look at the size. This guy's a fucking physical specimen also. So pretty much this guy has shown to his weakness to only be like takedowns. As you know, his takedown defense. But he's also improving that. So this guy is just becoming just a threat overall. Arlovsky, this guy, you know, getting older. On a losing streak. Has been getting knocked out. <coughs> Excuse me. He, he has been getting knocked out, so yeah, I think Arlovsky's chin, uh, Arlovsky's chin is going to let him down here. Arlovsky doesn't throw, uh, doesn't go for takedowns, so can expose Ngannou in his most vulnerable spot. Um, so yeah, I see the fight thing on the feet. I see Arlovsky getting clipped early, so Ngannou, first round knockout. Uh, co-main event, Cerrone versus Masvidal. Another fun fight here, another close one. A lot of people are going to be on Cerrone because this guy's been looking good at 170. But Masvidal here, this guy's a beast, and after he beats Cerrone, finally people are going to start, you know, paying attention to Masvidal. This guy's very underrated, really good boxing, and overall he's a really well-rounded fighter, uh, great grappling also, so this guy could do, you know, he could, he could pretty much beat you from every position because he has really good boxing, good takedown game, and good grappling. Um, so yeah, obviously my pick here, guys, is Masvidal. Uh, Cerrone struggles against uh, fighters with good boxing, uh, as you saw in the Nate Diaz fight. Uh, obviously, Nate Diaz got in his head, but even then, uh, Cerrone just really likes that boxing, and Masvidal has excellent boxing, and he's going to be all up in his face, using that pressure, using that boxing. He's going to box him up. He's going to land a lot of shots, and I just think Masvidal's going to win by decision here, guys. Could be, could even be a, a late finish here, or yeah, let's go ahead and just say late finish. Uh, could you know maybe get like a late body shot in or something like that? Body kick, hurt Cerrone, drop him, finish him off in that third or second round. Either way, I see Masvidal winning, but I'll take a uh, Masvidal to win by decision. And now for the main event, guys, we got Valentina Shevchenko versus Juliana Pena. Pretty good main event here. Obviously, uh, number one and number two, uh, one thirty-fivers at uh, at the women's bantamweight division. So. Uh, yeah, obviously we got uh, Chichenko, excellent striker, uh, improving take on the fence, um, very well-rounded, pretty much everywhere, has submission wins, 
Uh, yeah, she's a beast. Looked really good in that Holly Holm fight. I, I actually uh, picked Valentina to win that fight also. Uh, yeah, she just really, she just looked uh, really good in that fight. Uh, Pena, uh, primarily just all about her uh, takedown game and jiu-jitsu. She'll take you down or she'll uh, take you down and beat you up on the ground uh, with some ground and pound. Uh, land some good strikes from the top. Pretty much her game is all about uh, top control. Um, don't really see, don't really see her on bottom much. So pretty much she likes to take you down, just beat you up from the top, and work for submissions. So pretty much a grappler versus striker matchup. But Chevchenko here is the more well, well uh, the more well rounded fighter. Uh, obviously she has the striking advantage, but on the ground I think she should be able to get up off the ground uh, after uh, after the second round she should be getting off off the ground easier easier because uh, you know Pena is going to be uh, getting tired and whatnot. So I think Shevchenko is going to win this fight in the later rounds. I think it's going to I think it's going to go to decision though. I don't see a finish here unless maybe uh, you know some some crazy shit happens or maybe Pena gets some sort of early submission, but. I think Shevchenko is going to take it to the uh, to the to the uh, you know to the five round mark. It's going to go to decision, and I think Shevchenko is going to more than likely win uh, three, four, and five in the rounds. Um, Pena is going to come off strong, obviously, in the first two rounds, but once she starts getting tired, Shevchenko, excellent gas tank, and you know, good takedown defense. Should be able to stuff the takedowns a little bit and work her striking game, land the output, and overall win the fight just like that. So. I like Shevchenko in this spot, uh, and yeah, I really think she's going to get the win here, so Shevchenko by decision. Alright guys, that's it for my picks, uh, sorry I went through them uh, pretty quickly, but like I said, just a quick little, you know, qu quick little video, some quick picks, um, but yeah, that's going to be it guys, uh, thanks for watching, um, as always, uh, check out the link below in the description uh, for DraftKings, you guys want to play that. Uh, I always play every week. Sometimes I win money, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I break even. Either way, it's fun. Uh, so if you guys are good with your picks, uh, check it out. You know, you can make some money on that. Um, also, if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, stay tuned. Be doing more videos, obviously on the UFC picks or and um, other types of videos. So yeah, stay tuned. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like I said. And that's going to be it, guys. Uh, catch you guys on the next video.